Hi there. Since I've been working hard on the uh, dialogue system for Vertigo 2, I'd like to share a little bit of the work that I've done, that I've done, and um, kind of show off the workflow that I have created for myself. So here we have a little scene with Brian and Leo, two of the characters. Um, and now let's go ahead and make a new uh, piece of dialogue for Brian to say. Hi there. My name is Brian, and I'm one of the characters in Vertigo 2. Wow, I can talk. There we go. Uh, we will mix this down to a mono track because it's dialogue, so it doesn't need to be stereo. It's always going to be coming from a fixed point. Um, I will compress it just to make it a little bit nicer. And we'll export it as dialogue example. Back to Unity. Now that we have our dialogue example uh, file imported, we go to create new Vertigo 2 dialogue line, and then we select and specify that we are creating a line for this dialogue example. Hi there, my name is Brian, and I'm one of the plays, which is great. Um, and I created this whole UI for um, creating and editing these dialogue lines, and it's kind of nice and color coded and easier to use than, than anything that Unity has. Um, yeah, so first thing you can do is um, generate phonemes for this audio clip, which it uh, it just analyzes the audio, figures out the, the shape of the mouth based on the sound that's coming in, um, and then that lets us animate Brian's mouth to make it a little bit more realistic, um, visually matching what he's saying. The next thing is adding captions, telling the game engine um, what is being said in this audio clip so it can display captions, which actually aren't working, but um, Hi there. are good My practice Brian, to add. And I so when they are working, I'll be able to display them for all the clips that I've already created. Brian, and I'm one of the characters. Go to create a second caption, drag it over here. Wow, I can talk. Wow, I can talk. Fantastic. So now we have our captions, um, and we have all these other tracks you may have noticed. We have an emotion track, so maybe we can have him smile at you and he says hi there. Be kind of nice. Um, and I'm one of the characters in Vertigo 2. Wow, I can talk. And I'm going to have him raise his eyebrows when he says wow, just to show his vast emotional range. Uh, maybe, I don't know, a little emotion. You can also change the intensity of the emotion right here, which is kind of nice, and you can see it changing up there as I do that. Um, there we go. And then we have gestures, which are sort of just canned animations for his upper body um, to break up the monotony of completely procedural animation. Um, so maybe I can just have him do sort of a uh, generic hand wavy thing in the middle of here. Um, yeah. And then the last track is events. We can add events and um, they can go anywhere in the clip. And they can do kind of anything. Um, they're mainly designed to be able to uh, focus on other characters in the scene, so turn towards them and look at them and talk at them, or it can just call a generic function on any any object in the scene. Um, so these can be used to trigger, you know, trigger cutscenes or end cutscenes, or um, you know, communicate with other objects in the scene or other characters or anything you can imagine, uh, which is kind of cool. But since this is a pretty simple line of dialogue and nothing happens in it, I don't think we need any events. Uh, so the last thing is that we want to assign Brian as the character. So when this line is triggered, we want to actually make Brian say it instead of somebody else. And we can also set the line priority, and I think story central is fine because this is a really key dialogue here. Uh, force captions on. Again, captions aren't actually working yet, um, but if they were working, this would uh, force it to show the caption, even if 
you have captions turned off. So if somebody's speaking in another language or if a robot is speaking with a very strong Russian accent or something, who knows? Uh, and then you can also set the mixer type, which is just where the audio will out output to. Uh, by default, it's just um, normal, which means it's actually going to come out of character's mouth in the scene. Um, there's also intercom, which means it would play out of the in-game intercom if the, the character's in another room or whatever. Um, yeah, so there we go. That is our dialogue line all set up. You can see it loads and it is, uh, is now in the project. Um, so I'm using this tool called Playmaker from the Asset Store to uh, set up my interactive cutscenes. It's kind of no nice because it's a codeless scripting solution, and although I really like code, um, it's nice to not have to code all of these, you know, very repetitive cutscenes where it's just one person saying something, another person says something. It's cool to be able to do it visually, and it's a lot faster. Um, so we can add a new state called, I don't know, Brian example. We will add an action, which is line, play line. And we will play our dialogue example line and on finish line, just say finish. We can add a finish transition, just loop back into itself. So it'll just repeat this over and over again. And we can also set this as start state. So it'll go to that instead of my actual dialogue. Um, so there we go. When this line gets triggered, it finds the instance of Brian in the scene because we have selected that character. And then it, in theory, plays it out of his mouth. So let's see how this goes. Hi there. My name is Brian, and I'm one of the characters in Vertigo 2. Wow, I can talk. Hi there. My name is Brian, and I'm one of the characters in Vertigo 2. Wow, I can talk. Hi there. My name is Brian, and I'm one of the characters in Vertigo 2. Wow. I... So as you can see, he has some uh, nice procedural facial animation on top of um, the emotions that we defined for him. His eyes move randomly. He, uh, he moves his head around and tilts it while talking. He also... Uh, there's some more subtle stuff in here, but it's all going towards making the characters all feel alive and uh, reactive to, to you, the player. Characters in Vertigo 2. Wow, I can talk. Hi there. My name is Brian, and I'm one of the characters in Vertigo 2. Wow, I can talk. So there it is. Uh, Vertigo 2 dialogue system. Again, all of this is just aiming towards making my workflow easier so I can pump tons of dialogue into this game and make it just a really full and rich experience for you, the player. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, Yep, thanks for watching. <laughs>